Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while, um, but then again, it's been a very hectic, busy year, as as always. Um, so I thought I would create a video today dedicated to ankylosing spondylitis, a day in the life, kind of what we've been up to, and go from there. Um, so for those who have been following me for a long while now, um, I think it would have been about three years ago, I started getting um, more severe back pain. I originally started getting back pain in my early 20s. I went to a medical center back then. You know, in your 20s, you're kind of like, yeah, whatever, a doctor will give me something to fix me, I'll be fine. You should start taking inflammation tablets and we'll see how you go. Um, gave me five physio sessions and then kind of disappeared and I didn't even know where he's at anymore. So to me, I kind of just brushed it off and just thought, Do you know what, it's just something maybe old age, I'll just live with it. It wasn't until this year, so I'm 36 now, mid this year, the back pain started getting crazy. Like my whole life I've lived with it. Um, as I mentioned in my 20s, it started flaring up a lot, started getting really bad stiffness. And then I just kind of lived with it, done a lot of core exercises. So anyway, skip to now, mid this year, my back pain got that bad. I couldn't sleep at night. I couldn't roll over in bed. And to the point where if I sneezed, the compression on my spine was that bad, I would just be in tears to the point where I couldn't even get up in the morning and bend over the basin to wash my face. That's when I knew, okay, something's wrong. Stop putting this off as just old age. Go see a doctor. So June, I went and saw our family doctor who I said, look, in the past I've been told I've got an arthritis disease called ankylosing spondylitis. I didn't look any further into it because it was just considered back pain and I could still live my life well and do everyday things until this year. Um, she kind of looked at me and said, you know, ankylosing spondylitis is an arthritis disease in the spine that's mainly um, found in men. I highly doubt that you have it. You seem to be walking and functioning fine. It wasn't until I was telling her my main key issues being I can't sneeze, I'm scared to even just sneeze once because I know I'm going to be in pain. Um, around 2 a.m. I'd be awake, hot, sore back, stiff. It felt like all my discs were just stuck together and every time I moved it was this agonizing pain throughout my spine down to uh, my lower part of my back to the point where in the mornings I couldn't even bend over to wash my face. She said, you're pretty healthy, we'll do a blood test anyway to see if you've got the gene. And this was the first time I'd heard about this gene that apparently was very common in ankylosing spondylitis and any other arthritis diseases in people. So they did blood tests and it came back that I was positive with the HLA-B27 gene. Um, which was found in pretty much every patient that's got ankylosing spondylitis. So I had another x-ray done and that didn't look very well. Um, my lower back had just everything compressed and everything looked like it was starting to fuse together. So here I am panicking, thinking, what's this mean? What happens? She referred me to a great um, specialist in the city. So um, Trent and I went and had a chat with him who kind of asked me the same questions. When does it hurt the most? Do I feel stiff in the morning? What are my main issues? Um, to the point where I was explaining, can't even sneeze, my back sore, I feel like I'm 90 with a frail spine. Um, just the pain, I've never felt this much pain in my whole life of having back pain issues. He then said, pretty much sounds like you got ankylosing spondylitis. It's rare in females, but the good thing is we can medicate that. So me being me, that kind of worried me because I like the very natural remedies like, hey, if I can do yoga four times a week, I'd rather do that. Um, I don't like being on pain meds. I don't even like taking endone if I don't have to. So um, I was a bit worried about that, but did a bit of research online and pretty much if I don't start treating it, it's going to get really, really bad in the future. So the medications they put me on was Celebrix and Meloxicum, Meloxum. Um, so they're really strong anti-inflammatory tablets and I'm no doctor at all. So please, if you do have ankylosing spondylitis or if you think you do, you must go down the correct paths of 
researching, having a doctor appointment, meeting with specialists to find out what medicine works for you because there is so many medication out there um, for ankylosing spondylitis. You've got to make sure you speak with a professional and get the right treatment for you. Um, so the good news is I tried um, Meloxam for four weeks as the doctor told me to and within three days the difference was amazing. Pain gone, no inflammation, I can sleep, I can roll over in bed, I can wash my face, my spine stiffness is gone in the mornings and I'm back at the gym. Like, I'm now on Celebrix, um, that's only my couple of days in on this one so I'm going to trial that for four weeks to see how that goes certain people have different side effects to the medication um, I haven't had any yet with either touch wood so I'll see how I go but I thought I'd just update you guys I'm happy for anyone who has any questions that they want to ask about my experience with ankylosing spondylitis to reach out um, and yeah, pretty much stuck with this disease my whole life. Um, it's just now focusing on treatment and kind of doing the things that are going to make it less painful and less of an issue moving forward as I get older. And the main things are eat healthy, keep fit, keep moving and work on those core muscles because your core muscles support your spine. We're back on the healthy track. We're back on working out. Tran and I have just started a four week um, shred program it's good for your mental health as well like we know that junk food and, and eat crap eating just is not good for your mental health and your body in the long run I'm glad I bit the bullet and went to a specialist because knowing me being stubborn I would have just been like it'll be right it will go away in a few more weeks so fingers crossed um, the medication for inflammation that I'm on now does me well and I don't have any side effects in the long run so I think at the moment I'll be on um, just a tablet once a day to keep the inflammation away so that I can continue living a pain-free life so I'll keep you guys updated but anyway this is just a vlog about day in the life of me what we've been up to how I live what I've been eating and I hope you guys enjoy speak soon Oh, my God.